Alright guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to take input from the user. And after this video, after you've seen this video, you'll be able to create a user registration form, a login form, or any kind of form that has area to fill and a button. So let's learn how to do that. First of all, we are going to create a very simple main window. And then to take input from the user, there are two very simple edit options. First is the line edit and the second is the text edit. So what line edit does is that this is just a one liner. So you can write one line over here. This is better for username and any kind of uh, password or something like that. So this is just for one line. And then there is a text edit, which is basically for multiple lines. So if you have a multiple line option, uh, you can use this text edit and plain text edit is basically the same thing. So we are going to basically see how to extract data from both of them because putting them over here is a different thing and then obviously you can uh, if you want to put as a username you can put a label on the side of this which says username or whatever you want so what we're going to do is we're going to create two buttons one for this line edit and the second for this text edit and if we go to this line edit option we are just going to call it line edit because that's what it says in the pyqt uh, area so if you see at line edit, you can see that the object name is also line edit. And if you go to this text edit, you can see that the value or the object name, this is basically will be our variable name and this is text edit. So now we need to add two buttons over here, one for line edit and one for our um, text edit. And let's increase the size of this a little bit so that we can see clearly. And we are going to be changing its names to this one is for line and this one is for text edit. Let's make sure we add that. And now we just need to save this inside our, um, save it as UI and then we need to convert it into a Python code. Let's also change the name of this button. So we are gonna change this to line underscore button. And let's change the other one to text edit underscore button. Text edit underscore button. It's always a good idea to change the name of these buttons and now let's just save it and we are going to save it as untitled.ui that's perfectly fine and then we are going to convert it to our python code so i'm just going to write pi uic minus x untitled and minus o for the output main dot pi file and this will give us our uh, python file it's not pi uic it's pi uic5 because we are using PyQt5, if you are using PyQt6 or 4, you need to add that version number. And that's pretty much it. Now we can go back to our code and we have our main.py file and untitled.ui. So now that we have both of these files, let's have a look what it contains. So first of all, it has this line edit option. So let's actually separate it a little bit so that we can see it a little bit better. We have this line edit option, then we have this text edit option. And then we have our button over here. This is th these both are buttons. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And now let's run it to just to see how it looks. So we have our one line edit option where we can write this and we have our multiple um, line option where we can write multiple lines basically. And whenever we click on line, I want it to print whatever is in line in the terminal and same thing for this text edit option too. So let's close this and I'm going to create two methods over here. So first method will be show underscore line and self and inside that we are just going to print out uh, whatever the line has to print that out. We are going to use the dot text method. So we are just going to write self dot and then let's look at the value or the variable name. It's called line edit. So we are going to copy that and paste it over here dot text option and uh, this will print out the text that is inside our uh, one line option and then for the other one that is show underscore let's call it uh, edit text one and this will also take the self and to print this it's a little bit different but it's kind of uh, the same so over here you can see that our line edit is just called line edit or oh, sorry it's called text edit so let's copy that this is for multiple line one and to print this out, we are just going to write dot to plain text. So let's uh, write that to plain text. And that's pretty much it. Now we just need to connect the buttons to these uh, methods. So let's go back over here and uh, connect the button names. So first of all, we have our button name here, self dot line dot button. So let's copy that. And we are just going to write that over here dot clicked. So on clicked, we want to connect it to our simple very simple uh, method show line so we are just going to copy this and write self dot 
show line and now we can just copy this and paste it again because uh, we just need to change the name of the button so we are going to copy this paste it over here and then we also need to copy the name of the method and paste it over here and that's pretty much it so whenever one of the buttons is clicked so for example uh, let's run this first of all so whenever this line button is clicked it will go to this uh, line dot button dot click dot connect it will go to this method of show line and it will extract the text that is inside that uh, edit option and it will print it out on the terminal so that's pretty much it so let's actually test it out so first of all this is the line option you can write whatever you want over here and let's click on line and this should print this on our terminal so now you know basically how to take out the text from that line edit and do something with it you can do whatever you want you can send it to your back end and save this as username or whatever you want and then let's uh, test this edit text option so we are going to open this again and this is a multiple line and let's print that out and you can see that we have gotten them on different different lines this is a multiple line so guys this is pretty much it for this video in this video we learned how to extract the data very simple video from these uh, text options you can increase the size you can increase the text we already have learned how to do that that's why i didn't include it you can just click over here and just increase the font size and whatever you want to do so guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to be learning something exciting so i'll see you over there